In this video, we will be going through the use of the ASTC rule in solving trigonometric equations. Recall that, in a Cartesian plane, the x axis and y axis divide the plane into four quadrants. Angles, measured in an anti clockwise direction from the positive x axis, are positive while angles in a clockwise direction are negative. The angles which lie between 0 degrees and 90 degrees or between 0 to pi over 2 are said to be in the first quadrant. In this quadrant, the trigonometric ratios of any angles are always positive. That is, the sine, cosine or tangent of any angles are always positive. For example, if you type in sine 23 degrees, cosine 88 degrees or tangent 13 degrees into your calculator, they will all return a positive value. In the second quadrant, theta lies between 90 to 180 degrees, or between pi over 2 to pi. In this quadrant, the sine of any angles is always positive, and the cosine or tangent of the angles will be negative. For example, sine 110 degrees is equal to 0 0.9397, while cosine 110 degrees is equal to minus 0 0.3430 and tangent 110 degree is equal to minus 2.747. The third quadrant is represented by the letter T in ASTC, and in this quadrant, only the tangents of the angles are positive. For example, sine 237 degrees is equal to minus 0 0.839, cosine 237 degrees is equal to minus 0 0.545, and tangent 237 degrees is equal to 1.54. In the fourth quadrant, which is represented by the letter C, only the cosines of angles here are positive. For example, cosine 300 degrees is equal to 0 0.5, while sine 300 degrees is equal to minus 0 0.866, and Tangent 300 degrees is equal to minus 1.32. Let us now go through some examples and learn how to solve trigonometric equations using the ASTC rule. In example 1, given that x lies between 0 degrees and 360 degrees inclusive, solve the equation sine x equal to minus 1 over 4. First, find the value of the reference or basic angle. As we are finding the acute angle, take the inverse sine of 1 over 4. Do not include the negative sign. Remember, to find the reference or basic angle, we use only the positive value of the trigonometric ratio. Next, determine the quadrants in which x will lie. As sine x is negative, using the ASTC rule, x will lie in the third or fourth quadrant. Recall that sine is positive in quadrants 1 and 2, and is negative in quadrants 3 and 4. In quadrants 3 and 4, draw a line such that it makes an acute angle of 14.48 degrees with the x-axis as shown. In quadrant 3, the angle theta is equal to 180 degrees plus 14.48 degrees, which is equal to 194.5 degrees. In quadrant 4, the angle theta is equal to 360 degrees minus 14.48 degrees, which is equal to 345.5 degrees. Let us look at another example. Given that x lies between 0 and 2 pi, inclusive, solve the equation tangent x equal to 0 0.7. The first step is to find the reference angle. In the question, it is given that x lies between 0 to 2 pi. Notice that the angles are not given in degrees but in radians. Remember to change the calculator to radian mode. The reference angle is equal to inverse tangent of 0 0.7, which is 0 0.6107. Tangent is positive. Using the ASTC rule, x will lie in the first and third quadrant. In the first quadrant, x has the same value as the reference angle which is 0 0.6107. In the third quadrant, x is equal to pi plus 0 0.6107, which is 3.75. Therefore, the two values of x are 0 0.611 and 